Many developing and transition countries face major energy challenges that hamper their social, economic and industrial development. About 40% of the population having electricity and I'm can say up to 80% of the population rely on traditional biomass for cooking. This shows the enormous challenge we have uh, in energy service delivery. The region has largely relied on uh, fossil fuel technologies for uh, energy generation. For us, it's a survival issue. We, we just cannot afford to continue on the petroleum energy sector, uh, and we are there 90%. So there is need for a very rapid transformation. We import oil-based fuels for 91% of our energy services, and that makes the region, which uses less than 0.2% of global oil production, extremely dependent, therefore means that the transformation to energy systems that are more friendly, not just environmentally, but also economically. We all have to have research and development work, we have to have the technical consulting, project preparation, and we don't have to each, out, each of us to do it 15 times. If we have the center, we can do it once, and then it gets replicated with some little tweaks here to make it fit for each country. But that's, that will save us a lot of time, it'll save us a lot of energy, it'll save us a lot of money. Many countries can rely on a broad range of untapped renewable energy and energy efficiency potentials. Across the Caribbean, we have the responsibility to displace about 160 million barrels of petroleum per year. We will do it by improving our efficiency and by developing renewables, which will be key that roles for the center in those. We do have enormous amounts of renewables, I can say, be it sun, uh, solar, wind, and hydro, large and small. Many countries have already adopted ambitious renewable energy and energy efficiency targets and policies to address those challenges. However, major barriers continue to hinder the transformation of political commitments into real investments, jobs and business opportunities. The United Nations Industrial Development Organization assists regional organizations and their member states in the establishment of regional sustainable energy centers. I want to firstly express thanks to UNIDO and the Austrian Development Agency for having supported the Caribbean along with the SIDSDOC uh, to realize this uh, dream of setting up a regional center. Uh, the fact is that uh, we had been you know, discussing and always been thinking of setting up a regional agency of sorts but didn't know how. At 2008, when a country could no longer afford to buy fuel and the heads of state of ECOWAS took a decision to establish ECRE the ECOWAS Center for Renewable Energy and Energy Efficiency. Actually, with the support of the government of Austria, the Kingdom of Spain, and UNIDO. As European Union, we are only very, very happy to hear that in the Caribbean and in the Pacific, the uh, Council of Ministers, they have decided to create such centers, which we are willing to support out of our regional programs. In order to address commonly shared barriers more effectively and at lower costs, the centres support cross-border activities and the creation of regional markets and networks. This, in turn, unlocks investment and business opportunities for the champions on the ground, who can make the energy transformation a reality. The centre is intended to really give legs to the CARICOM Secretariat. These regional energy centres have become very popular these days. And I'm very happy about that. It seems that it's really an excellent way to promote exchange of experience, South-South cooperation, triangular cooperation, and therefore to advance uh, the development of sustainable energy futures. We believe that these regional sustainability centers can provide bridge between global goals and national action. And that's where these regional centers can really play a very important focal point or nodal points for sustainability fall, for climate action, but also linking energy for productive uses, energy for development. And that's where UNIDO comes in with a very strong focus on sustainable industrial development.
We feel that this is a good model to combine uh, very important measures uh, to create a good environment for uh, promoting uh, renewable energy and energy efficiency regionally. This is the only region in the world that all 15 countries within the next few months will have a C for all national action agenda. The centers will be one of the very important tools to implement in the achievement of C4. The centers will help to mobilize resources, both human and, and financial, and help governments with the best policies and to develop bankable projects so that they can implement projects towards sustainable energy for all. Together, the centers form the global network of regional sustainable energy centers, a powerful south-south multi-stakeholder platform to promote sustainable energy for all and climate resilience. This network will be a platform that will collaborate, exchange ideas, share information, and see how can we collectively move the agenda of energy access in our region forward. Being a member of this global network of uh, centers of excellence, we can link up with other centers and have joint proposals uh, uh, which would uh, um, make it more attractive technically and economically. The center would help to keep a lot of the capacity in the region. The success breeds success and the center, we believe, uh, enabling us to be able to attract financing for our projects will create a snowballing effect that could, you know, in a sense, manifest itself into a, a bigger, um, what one could call, investment part in the region and support investments. If we want to support the transformation of the energy system, it's really important to really and in a very honest way to help to develop the local capacities and help the countries to take ownership um, of their development in the energy sector. We'll find life from the centers because they would create some coordinating facilities, some coordination mechanisms that will help the member states to achieve their goals. Join our network as a regional partner, champion on the ground, or lend support as a donor. Let's solve tomorrow's energy problems together today. And together, the centres form the global network of regional sustainable energy centres, a powerful South-South multi-stakeholder platform to promote sustainable energy for all and climate resilience.